What is going on guys? It's Brandon with Extreme Daily Drivers and today I'm giving you my top five reasons why I love the Scion XB. Go ahead and roll that intro. All right, getting us started at number five is gonna be aftermarket support. Now, many, many years ago, I would have had this probably at number one or number two, but as you guys know, as the years have gone by, it's been more and more difficult to find parts for this car. Things like these CX Racing mirrors right here are really hard to find these days. Even simple things like these, these little vent shades, really, really hard to come by. You know, back in the day, you used to be able to get JDM versions of these called ESAMs. They're about 230 bucks each, but they're a lot kind of cooler looking. They fit a little bit better. You can't find those anywhere. Things like LED taillights, more difficult to find. This front face finisher right here, the triple F that everybody wants to know where I got and how I got it. And these are really hard to find now. You used to be able to just kind of buy these on eBay or you know from some JDM website, and now they're really, really difficult to find. So it's kind of sad as time has gone on. These pieces are becoming more and more difficult to find, but they still are out there. You just gotta look for them. All right, moving on to number four, let's talk about reliability. Now this car has almost 290,000 miles on it and I've owned this car for 60 of those 290,000 miles, which was six years. So since I've owned it, I've had to replace the air conditioning compressor. I've had to replace the air conditioner dryer. Um, I've had to replace the uh, starter, the alternator, the, um, the transmission. Yeah, I replaced the transmission. This thing had like 250,000 miles on it and left me on the side of the road. Yeah, even Toyotas do that sometimes. So yeah, so reliability is at number four for me. I still consider this to be a crazy reliable car. I would drive this to California tomorrow in a blink of an eye, wouldn't even think two things about it. It's been really pretty darn rock solid. Nothing is foolproof. It doesn't matter if you have a Honda, a Toyota, or whatever. There are gonna be problems when you start reaching 300,000 miles. And in my opinion, despite the transmission, this thing has been really, really solid, and uh, it's a really, really great car and something you can depend on. All right, number three on the list is cargo space, man. These cars are enormous. These are the biggest little car you'll ever be in. Perfect example, this front seat right here is set up for when I drive. I haven't moved it forward at all. And here I am in the back, totally comfortable. I'm 5'9", I got tons of leg room. I got leg room for days, dude. I could practically lay back here. It's just the most incredible car for space, especially the back seat. And let's not even talk about headroom, dude. The headroom in these things is unbelievable. I have at least 12 inches from the top of my hat to the ceiling. It's absolutely incredible. And let's go ahead and fold these seats down so you could really understand how much stuff could fit in this thing. Dude, check this out. I mean, <laughs> the space in here is just, it's cavernous. I got the front seat folded flat. I have had in the back of this car, I have had the Miata engine, all right? If you guys watch our videos, you know I had the Miata engine back here. I had the Prelude engine and transmission back here, driving, no issue, okay? I've actually had a full-sized IKEA couch in this car, slid all the way forward and it fit. I had the doors closed. And lastly, I had a 90 inch television in this thing with all the doors closed and all the windows up. That is an enormous feat. It, you don't understand how big a 90 inch television is until you put a tape measure on it or try to get it in your car. Now it went in diagonally, okay, at an angle like this, but it slid all the way in and it fit. And I'm telling you, that is not easy to do. So that's why cargo space is number three on my list. All right, for number two of the top five reasons I love the Scion XB, it's gotta be what I'm gonna call just JDM kind of uniqueness. And that is this just awesome layout of this vehicle. I love everything about it. They did such a good job designing this look. I mean, this is a look that's often duplicated, never replicated. It is just totally awesome. It's so different, it's so unique. It's, in my opinion, an absolutely timeless look. They just, they just did everything right. And what I mean by that is this entire car is made up of squares. 
they didn't try to put anything round on it. They didn't try to do any kind of round styling. I understand the wheels and tires are round, and I know they have to be. <laughs> but everything else is a straight line or a square. The headlights are square. Fog lights, rectangle. Grills, rectangles. Everything is a line. Even the OEM grill is just lines. The OEM JDM badge is a square. Everything is a square or a rectangle. Take my mirrors out of that because they're obviously aftermarket. The original ones are squares and rectangles. They just did such a great job keeping things, even like the gas, the gas lid right here, mostly a square, right? They had to cut it out a little bit to fill that wheel arch. The tail lights, rectangles, straight lines. Everything is a straight line. They did such a great job designing it. So that's why JDM uniqueness is number two on my list. And now let's get to number one. All right, guys, for the number one reason, I love the Scion XB. It is the way it makes you feel when you're driving it. This thing is awesome. I remember reading a review when these things first came out, and someone described driving the XB like when you were a kid and your parents got like a refrigerator or an oven or something with a giant box, and as a kid you jumped inside and pretended like you were driving a car. And that's exactly what it feels like. It's just like a giant, fun to drive thing. It really kind of brings a smile out of your face every time you get behind the wheel. I promise you, if you get behind the wheel of one of these cars, man, you will absolutely love it, guaranteed. So before I go, let me tell you a funny story about my first Scion XP that I had back in 2006. So back in 2006, I was in the market for a new car. It's gonna be the first new car that I ever purchased. And I really wanted to get a pickup truck. And I wanted to get a Chevy Colorado and I was gonna slam it to the ground and build like a low rider out of it. And so I was telling my wife, Kelly, I was like, you know, I really think about getting this truck. And she wasn't sure about the truck. So she said, are you sure there's nothing else out there that you're interested in? I mean, something that is comparable that, you know, you might want besides this truck. And I said, well, the only other thing out there that I that I kind of like is this Scion XB, that weird box thing. And she said, you know, those are pretty cool. Why don't you go check one out? So I went to the dealership. The dealership was closed, but they had they had them out back. So I was checking them out. They had one that was a blue onyx pearl. And I really loved that color because it was blue during the day, but at night it kind of looked black. So I said, you know what? I really like this color. I want to test drive this thing. So I went home. She said, how'd it go? I said, I couldn't test drive anything, but I saw one there. It was really cool. So I'm going to come back the next day. I'm going to go ahead and test drive it. She said, okay. So after work, I come home and I'm like, hey, I'm going to the dealership. I'm gonna go test drive that XB car. And she said, okay, have fun. I'm like, do you wanna come or anything? She's like, no. I'm like, all right, well, just so you know, I might buy it if I like it. And you know, if I get the price I want, I'm probably gonna buy it. And she's like, okay, whatever. So anyway, I go and test drive the XB, get behind the wheel, fall in love with it. Everything I described to you that I liked about the car fell immediately. I was like, dude, this is for me. This is totally my, this is totally my thing right here. So anyway, I bought the car, traded my car, bought the XB, drove the XB home. Kelly freaked out. She said, I can't believe you just bought that car. I was like, I told you I was gonna buy the car. She's like, yeah, but I didn't think you're gonna buy it. I was like, what's the problem here? What's the breakdown of communication? I don't understand what happened. Dude, she was so mad. She was mad for days. She was mad for days that I bought the car. Uh, but you know, what are you gonna do? She wound up loving it in the end. She knows how awesome it is. So anyway, guys, that is my list of top five favorite things I love about the Scion XB. I want to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. Let me know if you agree with my top five. Let me know if you disagree about my top five. There are a couple obvious things I didn't mention in this list because to me, they're not really that important. Fuel efficiency is one of the things that everyone would jump to and say, oh, I love how fuel efficient it is. It is very fuel efficient. It's not why I drive it. Um, reason being I have so many other cars that are fuel efficient so it's not high on my list but uh, there's some other things too that I kind of didn't didn't touch on so I want to hear your list down below and this is one of three sign XP videos coming in a row set your calendars Tuesday 3 30 Tuesdays back I'll see you next week thanks so much for watching later <laughs>